Women FC TV with Aaron Racine following a 2-1 win over Maidstone United in the National League South playoff semi-final. Aaron, your thoughts on the game? Um, I think thought we started well. Got a bit iffy towards the second half, um, or the second part of the first half, sorry. And then the second half, I think, you know, we were under the cosh in terms of um, going uphill slightly with our pitch and then the wind against us and then on top of that, them pressing quite well. Um, so was, the second half special was a, a, a case of just digging in, grinding, defending well and obviously taking our chances as, as and when they came. And the chance came in the last minute, it really was a smash and grab at the end but Ollie and Joe's work to get the ball forward in that way and then Ollie finished it off. Yeah, I thought he was going to trip over the ball at one point. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, before the game, if you said someone was going to score the winning goal to get us through, of course it was going to be Ollie Pierce. Um, so yeah, done unbelievably well, composed and great finish. And scored the penalty as well in the first half and the pressure in that situation. Yeah, again, I mean, we done penalty just there and the first one he took, he missed. <laughs> So uh, he got him out of the way, but um, yeah, no, obviously felt confident when he stood up anyway and wasn't going to take it. And like I said, if you, if you said who was going to score in this game, this type of game, it was always going to be Ollie. Looking at the performance in the first half, um, thought they might be happier with, with that showing. What do you think was the benefit <coughs> from that? Um, I think they set off us a little bit in the first half, and then I think we worked our sort of our patterns well that we work on and what, and what we're good at. Um, they pressed us towards the end of the first half a little bit and a bit more aggressive. I think we struggled to find sort of our free man and, and where the, the right pass was at the right time. Um, and then I think the second half, like I said, was just a case of just you know the, the conditions in terms of that the wind was against us a little bit, so it's quite hard to go directed in behind with um, to find the spaces. And again, they pressed they pressed well. And towards the end, there a change for Brad Dolan coming off for Nicky <coughs> Wheeler maybe gave you a little bit more width. Do you feel was that a big influence on Joe Felix being able to get forward for that? Yeah, I think I think it was it was more for having a, a left footed player on the right and a right footed player on the left um, to play early balls around the corner to try and beat their press and get it in behind early. Um, and I felt we started to do it a little bit, um, but something to work to work on. But I think in those moments um, when teams press you well, it's all about having minimal touches and trying to play around the corner and, and play into spaces. Um, so that was the thinking behind it. And we had a little spell where we were doing it again, um, and then. Yeah, obviously they just they just put the pressure on us towards the end. It's a case of just sort of digging in and, and seeing what happens. Looking at individuals on the pitch, who stood out for you this afternoon? Uh, I thought Ollie Wright made some great saves um, at key moments. Um, obviously Ollie Pierce, key moments, penalty scoring and scoring a the winning goal. Um, and then you know on top of that, I don't think on the flip of it, I don't think there's anyone that you know played poorly and or didn't um, work hard for us. So in, in terms of key performances, yeah, you could probably talk about both Ollies. Uh, but an overall performance from the whole team is it's just unbelievable in terms of in, in terms of the the climate and, and the like the context of the game, the way they, they played, that especially the first twenty minutes, the whole team I said to them like obviously it's a, it's like a semi final, it's a big game. Uh, there's a lot of like nerves and anxiety going in. I said the sooner you get the sooner we get to play in our game, the better it is. Um, and, the, and the nerves sort of go away, and straight away they just they stuck to our principles and, and were brave to get on the ball. Um, so as a collective, it, it, honestly, the whole team performance was brilliant. Um, but on top of that, I think both volleys did stand out. Touched upon the occasion of today. One more game to go next Monday. But as an occasion today, how do you feel it all went? Yeah, uh, like I said, I think I think we started the game well. Um, we stuck to our our sort of principles. We found it tough towards the end of the first half, um, and then the second half, I think. We just dug in and showed resilience again, and it's a big thing that I'm trying to instil in them and give them the belief that they can do it. And when moments do get tough, we need to do that. And giving them belief they can do that is a good thing. But we don't want to soak up pressure and to keep doing that. And we still need to control the game and do what we do with the ball. Um, but in moments, especially in these types of games, um, you're going to have to dig in. And they proved it, and they've done it again and again and again towards the back end of the season. So. Just in case of trying to do it one more time. You touched upon the importance of the crowd. It was a sellout in the end. What did you make of off the pitch today? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, honestly, it's it's just one of those things. I think you notice it a bit more as a as a, as a staff member rather than the player as well. I think the player is so engrossed in the game, and the staff members when you when you have a moment just to sit down and sort of take it in, you can really notice it. And um, yeah, it's unbelievable.